Thank you very much, dear Massimo, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much for your kind introduction and uh, for the opportunity to give a plenary presentation during the Many Future 2013 conference. It is indeed the ninth Manufacturing Many Future conference. Together with the Industrial Technologies Conference, it is number 11 of a series of conferences and the first in the Baltics. Congratulations to the organizers to mobilize such an impressive audience. Dear Menu Future community, good morning to you all here in the Lithuanian Exhibition Congress Center Lit Expo. I'm honored to share with you my view on industry visions and concepts for sustainable economic growth and jobs. I hope that after my presentation, you will understand why we need high value added manufacturing and a flourishing industrial base to create wealth and prosperity. In the wake of the financial crisis, Lehman Brothers industry, which is real economy, has regained importance and is rightly back on the political agendas all over the world. And today, in times of ever increasing public debt, especially in Europe and the other tried countries, even more important than ever. The long sustainable Sustainability of public finances is in fact the major problem in many Western industrialized countries. Ladies and gentlemen, the political challenge to create jobs and fix the economy might be bigger than expected according to the thoughtful cartoon. Let me try to find some answers from industrialists and perspective. But I don't know if you are the guy who is climbing up the hill to Godfather, but could be also someone else or any one of us. Ladies and gentlemen, my presentation will be along three guiding questions. Firstly, why is manufacturing so important for a sustainable economy? Secondly, what is future manufacturing? And thirdly, why manufacturing has a key enabling role as a system integrator, using examples of the automotive industry, a field I'm very familiar with. Let me begin to find for the first answers for the first question. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have first of all a look to the world trade figures. The chart on the left shows the development of world exports from 2000 to 2011 in value terms, billion dollars for agriculture products in dark blue, fuel and mining products in pink, and manufacturing goods in yellow. The chart on the right shows the development on, of the same product groups in relative terms from 1950 to 2011. Please notice that the ordinate is a logarithm scale. The average annual percentage change for gross rates of manufacturing goods during this period has been 7.5%. What is clearly seen from the charts, manufacturing goods are by far number one in world exports, far ahead of fuel and mining products, and agriculture products. In 2011, the figure amounted 11.5 million million dollars, or in other words, 11.5 billion US dollars. And moreover, exports of manufacturing goods grow even stronger than the other product groups. Manufacturing matters. Why? Because manufacturing of tangible products creates value and provides room for value-added services over the lifetime. 
Manufacturing industry and industry-related services are the main provider of growth and employment in Europe and have a huge potential to generate wealth, jobs and a better quality of life. It is interesting to know that manufacturing accounts for 75% of exports. And manufacturing is important because of the impact of the environment. Manufacturing is important for SMEs since OEMs are the major clients of SMEs and depending on the densely knitted network of SMEs behind them for in the background. And last but not least, manufacturing is critical for research, education and innovation since 80% of all private sector research and development efforts are undertaken in industry according to a recent communication of the European Commission. In a nutshell, manufacturing plays a crucial part in driving the economy. The importance can hardly be overestimated. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why the European Commission Vice President Tajani in October last year has issued industrial policy communication to reverse the declining trend of industry in Europe. Currently, in industry accounts for about 16% EU GDP. I was very astonished that uh, Lithuania has 20% the same number as Germany. So you are not finished. It's a big task to help this number. In the Europe 2020 strategy, the growth strategy and master plan for the next decade of the European Commission, a 20% share of industry in the EU GDP has been set and also to increase the trade in goods in the internal and external markets. As the societal challenges ahead of us are increasing, the demand for appropriate, appropriate solutions is increasing too. The slide might give you an idea where the future market and market opportunities are from health and nutrition and safety and security to sustainable mobility and transportation, from information and communication and energy and living and clean production. Everywhere there is a need for intelligent products and services. Not to forget the renewable for the existing of the existing infrastructures. However, these growth opportunities can't be taken for granted. We have to work hard for it. And we need to invest heavily in innovation. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, that is why we all, industry and public bodies, need to invest in research and innovation to enable and support growth and subsequently wealth and job, guided by long-term visions and concepts. During the last two years, the many future and EFRA communities together with our partners from the European Commission have worked hard and focused to provide valid strategies, manufacturing 2030 roadmaps, factory of the future 2020, topics and priority to strengthen the competitiveness of the European manufacturing sectors. Manufacturing 2030 continues the vision of future manufacturing to fight against deindustrialization for growth and sustainability. States and governments are requested to invest in an efficient research infrastructure and high quality education for, of the future engineers. 
Re-industrialization and manufacturing-based growth needs to concentrate all forces which can influence the future development. Industry in their role as actors for adding value and investors, states and government who set the framework for conditions and research organization who generate the scientific basis for the future development. So, next point. What is, what is future manufacturing? Not only in my opinion, future manufacturing is and must be high-tech, knowledge-intensive, and an integrator of high-tech from many technology fields. Please allow me first to explain the manufacturing system. Manufacturing comprises four major domains, enabling technology from different technology fields, engineering platform, ICT supported systems planning and engineering, digital and virtual engineering, the manufacturing systems, organization of work and workflow, and management of business, operations, um, Res operation research and new business models equal con reconfiguring of the value chain. These domains have to be applied to all layers of manufacturing from the single process up to a network of plants. Manufacturing has to develop and apply high-tech from many different knowledge fields and does mean besides sophisticated technology development, also ambitious system integration and orchestration. And all overall more and more mastering of constantly increasing complexity. Excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, Modern or future manufacturing or industrial production first and foremost means high value added products and processes. With the help of skilled people and their knowledge, a factory equipment, machine and tools, or people who do not understand what is manufacturing does it mean, in other words, assets within the factories. High-tech products, made by high-tech production processes, equal premium cars, high-tech machine tools, aircraft engines, high-speed trains, airplanes, accessories, lithography machines, medical equipment, just to name a few. As lean, as clean as possible, ideally in a zero emission, and zero waste factory, and the factory means of the future. Industry will therefore inevitably be the engine of the future low carbon resource efficient and knowledge based economy. Already today, about 20% of the workforce in industries are engineers. By the way, EU industry has changed radically over the last 10 to 15 years and it has seen productivity and strong innovation, a considerable reorientation of its workforce and capital investment. The development of new products for new and emerging markets and a major improvement in its environmental performance. Dematerialization is a major topic where we still could achieve substantial savings in materials and energy, the cost drivers of the future at the same time. To reach to the next level of competitiveness, as you might imagine, future manufacturing does become more challenging because you have to use new materials and exceeded technology limits in processing. 
to increase the speed in innovation by reducing the experimental effort together with the error rate, it is essential to have science-based models available. We need science-based clarification of manufacturing processes as a basis for future technical intelligence. Today, we rely mostly on trial and error. Besides the industrial leadership, priority manufacturing should also represent it in the excellent science pillar of Horizon 2020 because this type of modeling needs indeed frontier research of highest quality, a big task together for manufacturing and ICT. Enterprises and factories have regional routes which can provide support and stability. Manufacturing enterprises and their factories are usually embedded in a local environment even if they operate globally. Each factory is an element of a regional economic and social system. The public area, governance, universities, education, transport, health, then the public-private, energy, water, telecommunication providers, and last but not least, the private area, industrial companies, engineering services providers, SMEs, financial sector consultants, etc. Their characteristics define the regional competence and mindset for innovation, competitiveness, and potential for future development. The development of regions is therefore one of the central challenges for sustainable growth and employment. Public investment infrastructure are long-term investment and should be used to support the long-term development of sustainable and competitive manufacturing. The main question of European infrastructure development is how can the public infrastructure of regions support the industrial value creation and social welfare by activating regional synergies? This leads me to directly to my third guiding questions. Why manufacturing has a key enabling role as a system integrator? Using examples of the automotive industry, which can be uh, looked upon as pass pro toto example and is a field I am familiar with. Therefore, sustainable mobility will be my focus topic here. For example, Mercedes-Benz F125 looks like the future runs on hydrogen represented at the Frankfurt Auto Show two years ago. Trailblazing concept for large and luxurious automobiles, fuel cell plug-in hybrids with a range over 1,000 kilometers, revolutionary hydrogen storage technology, lithium sulfur high voltage battery with high energy density, pioneering battery charging by induction, uh, all-wheel drive with four-wheel electric motors and individual torque control at each wheel. Body shell of lightweight hybrid construction with gull wing doors for optimal excess, more safety and reduced weight. Innovative saloon car, architecture of avant-garde design, driver fitness, safety, ease of operation at the highest level thanks to natural touch, gesture and voice control. Always online, always connected with at your command, cloud-based cloud infotainment. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Since the potential of steel and aluminum for lightweight design construction is nearly been exhausted, fiber or carbon fiber reinforced plastics come into focus for semi-structural, uh, partly also for structural application. However, these materials are currently too expensive for automotive applications, too expensive for the customers, it has to say. You are not currently produced in the quantities necessary for the automotive industry already in the making is still very expensive and not at the moment in serious production. Some of these challenges which have to be overcome with FRP concepts, fiber reinforced plastic, for cars are shown on this slide. For the FRP, the design methodology and the CAD process chain, uh, computer edit engineering crash methods, NVH methods and concepts are still not fully understood. While glass fiber com uh, components are expected to make their entrance in semi-structural parts segments soon, carbon fiber composites in the structural parts will take more time to emerge. Innovation related to manufacturing process and quality levels are needed to speed, speed up an adoption. The main challenges are here reduction of the costs for the fibers, reduction of manufacturing cycle times, less than two minutes, quality improvement of high volume production parts and adoption of assembly lines to composite materials. Ladies and gentlemen, the automotive, the automotive industry has a continuous demand for innovative production and concept, process and concepts because the most incurred by additional content and lightweight cost must be largely offset by efficient or efficiency or technology gains in the manufacturing process chain. E-drive, drive and battery value chain. As you all might know, the battery is the key component of an electric vehicle. High battery costs are the barrier to spread of electric vehicles. The battery value chain today is dominated by Asian players. Cell manufacturing and processing of active material represents major parts of current cost. Cell manufacturing can roughly be divided into electrode manufacturing, assembly, and electrical formation. Further, cost reduction levers for battery production are possible with raw material, battery assemble and, uh, assembly, and other components. So, E-Drive key performance indicators is shown in this picture for the EV batteries. Uh, seven KPIs like lifetime energy competitivity, safety, cost of batteries for electric vehicles and their improvement. From 2014 to 2020, ah, it works, until 2017, uh, significant improvements in battery lifetime are anticipated. Until 2020, a battery price of 250 to 300 euros per kilowatt hours is expected, which corresponds to have a halving of the current price levels because of scale effects and progress in the process technology. You can imagine that concert action of various actors is needed to achieve these high-flying goals. I come to the end. Key messages. Ladies and gentlemen, let me summarize. Real economy remains the core of all economic activities. In recent years, Real economy has regained its entitled importance as a source of value creation. Income of prosperity on almost any product, you can attach a sticker. Manufacturing insight. 
Manufacturing has a critical enabling role for the production of goods and hence international trade. Thus, modern manufacturing is the key to high value added and wealth and of vital importance to foster economic growth and eventually jobs creation and has a pivotal role to play in prompting investment and innovation. Therefore, a strong industry is necessary a deceive for nations seeking to permanently feed themselves of the currently prevailing debt trap. Since making money without substance, it is only bubble economy and thus mere wealth illusion and certainly not sustainable. Since future manufacturing is knowledge extensive, it need to be back through scientific and applied research. Horizon 2020 is a unique opportunity to strengthen the European manufacturing base. And finally, I would like to thank our partners in the European Commission for their continued interest and support of our common cause. Thank you very much for your kind attention.